In this video, we're going to learn to count in Robo using a memory palace. Robo is a southwestern Edoid language spoken in Nigeria with some 2 million plus native speakers. This virtual space is a memory palace containing the numbers 1 through 10 in Robo. The numbers themselves are visualized as mnemonic images to make them easier to remember and pronounce. It's important to point out that these are my own mnemonics. They may not work for you, so feel free to change the images if you have different associations or something else works better for you to remember the words in Robo. Let's explore the space and see how it works. On the first pedestal, we have a picture of the Oval Office. This is a mnemonic to help us remember the number one in Robo, which is Ovo, Ovo, One. Next, we have Eve in the Garden of Eden to remember Eve, Eve. Eve is the second human ever created, so this also helps us remember that Eve means two. On the third pedestal, we have Ra, the Egyptian sun god. The Robo word for three is Ehra. This sounds a bit like the first sounds in a rock. So remember that this image of Ra is made of rock. Ehra, three. Ehra. Next, we have Ene, number four. For this, we have an image of a neighing horse. The ne reminds us of Ene. Ene. Number five is earring. This sounds like earring. In Robo, you get what are called nasal vowels, something you can also find in French. In other words, the in on the end of earring is not pronounced in as we would in English, but just as a nasalized vowel in. Earring is for earring. Moving over to the next group, we have an image of Asa Butterfield, the actor. Asa is a mnemonic for Asa, six. Like Iorin, Asa ends with a nasal vowel, not an N sound. Asa. Number seven is Igre. This sounds like an egret in English, without the T on the end. Again, this ends with a nasal vowel. Igre. Next, we have two rens for Erenre. Unlike the English word ren, each ren in erenre ends with a nasal vowel, not an N sound. This means eight. Erenre. Number nine is ihrenre. A picture of Rihanna is the mnemonic for this number. Rihanna is spelled with an H after the R-I, so you can use this to help remember the H sound at the beginning of ihrenre. Once again, we don't have N sounds here, just nasal vowels. Ihrenre. Finally, for number 10, we have someone eating whey protein. Number 10 in Urobo is ihue. Ihue. It sounds a bit like whey, the protein in a lot of protein shakes. Ihue. Now that we've gone through the numbers and their mnemonic images, let's connect these with a story. One day at the Oval Office, Eve walked in dressed in fig leaves. She had a meeting with the president to discuss working with Ra the sun god to help reduce climate change and global warming. She was startled by a neighing horse outside and accidentally flicked her earring, which fell to the floor. Asa Butterfield was in the White House on a tour and found the earring on the floor. He went outside and gave it to an egret to take back to Eve. The egret passed it to a wren, and the wren flew with the earring, delivering it not to Eve, but to Rihanna, who was at her home in Barbados drinking a whey protein shake. This space, these images and this story make up a memory palace, a way of storing, retaining, and recalling information. Try reviewing these mnemonics and this story in your mind a few times and see if you can recall the numbers by remembering this space. Because of the way the space is set up, you can remember the numbers just by their position. We have two groups of five. So if you want to get to the number five, you look here. The earring is earring. If you want 10, you look here. The whey protein shake is ihue. If you want four, you look here. Ene. You can also practice going both forwards and backwards and recalling the numbers out of sequence. Remember, these are just my mnemonics. If you need to change an image or part of the story to make this work better for you, that's absolutely fine. Let's review the numbers in Robo one more time. 
ovo, ive, ehra, ene, iurin, esan, igren, erenre, ihrenre, ihwe. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out linguisticator.com for our courses in memory and languages.